Welcome to DigiCenter. In this video, we will explain how to correctly set up and operate this DigiCenter product. Included in the pack is a transmitter and receiver. These are clearly marked on the back of the unit and are designed to plug directly into a mains extension lead or plug socket. Also included are the DigiRelay devices or DigiEyes. These allow you to use your source remote control from your bedroom. In this example, we are connecting the transmitter to a satellite receiver in the lounge and transmitting the signal to our second TV located in the bedroom. To connect the transmitter to your satellite receiver, you first need to identify which SCAR cable is connected between the satellite receiver and the TV. Unplug this SCAR cable. Now connect the Digi connector. And then reconnect the SCAR cable back into the Digi connector. Plug the transmitter into an available main socket and switch it on. The transmitter will light up to indicate it is switched on and will default to channel 1. Leave it on this channel. The DigiEye allows you to change the satellite channel from your bedroom. It is important to make sure the DigiEye connected to the transmitter faces the front of your satellite receiver. This completes the installation of the transmitter and we are now ready to install the receiver in our bedroom. The receiver is fitted with a standard SCART plug. Locate a vacant SCART socket on the rear of your TV and plug the receiver into this socket. It is important to make sure the DigiEye connected to your receiver is looking towards the user, so that the face of the DigiEye points towards your bed or where you are likely to operate the satellite remote control from. Plug the receiver into an available main socket and switch on. The receiver will light up to indicate it is switched on and will also default to channel 1. That should be the same channel as the transmitter in the lounge. Double check to make sure both units are set to channel 1. Because the receiver is connected to your bedroom TV via a SCART socket, you must select the relevant SCART input channel using your bedroom TV remote control. The correct button to do this may be called AV, Source or Input and may require the button to be pressed a number of times before the correct channel is selected. You have now completed the installation of your DigiSender and can enjoy satellite channels on other TVs around your home. This DigiSender system is compatible with additional receivers. If you have other TVs in bedrooms, the kitchen or dining room, then these two can receive the same signals from your existing DigiSender transmitter. To improve picture quality, it may be necessary to plug the DigiSender into mains extension leads. This allows the units to be moved more easily and avoid shielding effects from surrounding objects. Also, make sure the cables between your source equipment and TV are neat and tidy. Changing the audio-video channel of your transmitter and receiver can provide a solution to picture interference. To change the audio-video channel upon which your DigiSender transmits, simply press the channel button on your transmitter and receiver. Make sure that the transmitter and receiver are set to the same channel. 
Picture interference can be caused by other wireless signals being transmitted around your home. If this is not solved by changing the audio video channel on your transmitter and receiver, then take a closer look around your home for the source of the problem. Wireless LAN systems are often the cause of picture interference. Try relocating the DigiSender receiver and make sure that any unattended computers are switched off. In severe cases, adjustments can often be made to router settings. Some games consoles permanently transmit handset control signals, even when switched off or into standby mode. This particular games console must be switched off the mains to stop the handset control signals from being transmitted. Problems using your satellite remote control in your bedroom are easily solved. Ensure that the DigiI, connected to the transmitter in your lounge, is correctly facing the front of your satellite receiver. Try relocating it to improve reliability and performance. Also ensure that the DigiI, connected to the receiver in your bedroom, is correctly facing the person using the satellite remote control. Again, try relocating it.